Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the water flow inside a Francis water turbine. Water turbine is a turbo machinery that converts kinetic energy from water flow or potential energy from water height differences into rotational motion. Francis turbines are one of the types of water turbines that have the ability to use both kinetic and potential energy for power generation at the same time due to the location of their blades. In this type of turbine, water flows into the helical chamber because due to the uh, circular structure of the blades, in order to improve the operational efficiency of the system, the flow of fluid colliding with the blade must be rotational. The water flow is then transferred to the turbine runner blades with a certain flow rate, and as a result, by rotating these blades by the water flow, the desired work is produced. Finally, the outflow of water from the turbine runner blades will be actual. In the present simulation, a flow of water with a flow rate of approximately 2 kg per second entered the inner chamber of the turbine. Frame motion is used to define the rotation of blade inside the chamber and to create the resulting rotational flow around the blade. In fact, it is assumed that the area of water flow around the blade has a rotational motion relative to the blades, while the rotating blades have a rotational speed of 0 relative to its rotating area. Therefore, for the area related to water flow around the blades, the frame motion technique with a rotational speed of 158 rpm has been used, and for the blade balls, a moving ball boundary condition with a zero rotational speed is defined. The geometry is designed using design modeler software. In the design of the present model, two main parts have been considered, which include fixed walls that have fixed veins with fixed angles and moving walls that have rotating veins. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The element number is equal to 4,653,106. Also, the quality of the mesh is considered finer in the areas close to the blades. Uh, also, by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluent software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear, which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. Now in the appear window, which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. As was explained in the uh, first slides, you can see that two zones of moving and solid zones are defined. Uh, by double clicking on the moving zone, uh, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you can see that uh, the frame motion uh, is activated for this zone and you can see that the rotational velocity has been defined for this zone and uh, which is equal to 158 RPM. By clicking on inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is set to be mass flow inlet. By clicking on edit, a new window will appear which lets you uh, change the values and setting for this boundary. In this window, you can see that the water mass flow rate entering the computational domain is equal to this value. By clicking on the outlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be pressure outlet. Again, by clicking on edit, you can see the settings for this boundary. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project and we highly recommend you to not change these values. In this contour you can easily see how the water flow pressure has decreased from the inlet section to the outlet after rotating the turbine blades.
Now in order to see the streamlines, you just have to click on the streamline button and accept the appeared window. Again, on the low left side of the software window, uh, in front of the start from section, uh, you just have to select the inlet boundary uh, so that the software will uh, calculate the streamlines entering the computational domain from this boundary. After that, you just have to click apply uh, so that the software will show you the streamlines in order to see the velocity vectors inside uh, the rotating zone and on the rotating blade, just have to click on the velocity vector button and accept the appear window. Uh, again, on the low left side of the software window, you just have to select the location, which in this stage would be the moving zone, and then click on apply. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at